Now another method we have for creating a surface is by importing graphic elements to create that DTM. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take a CAD file and just use the information that's in there to import spot elevations from a, a given level or whatever it happens to be. Sometimes, particularly with aerial survey firms, they'll give you a CAD drawing. On one level might be all spot elevations and on another level breaking lines. Um, typically that would be in a 3D file and we can make a DTM out of that. So in this case, this is the file we're going to use and then once we get those spot elevations in, we're actually going to uh, create a DTM using break lines that are also in that file in 3D so that will further enhance our DTM. So let's move on to that exercise and see how that works. Now we'll take a look at creating a DTM from graphics that are stored in the CAD file. In the display here, we have property line displayed as well as a break line that represents the top of bank. We've got a ditch and we've got some roadway pavement edges. This is a 3D file and those are at the correct elevation with the exception of the property line. We don't want that to be part of our DTM. So we're going to go up to level display and we're going to turn off that particular level. We do have data provided by the surveyor for descriptions, elevations, point numbers, and data points. So let's take a little bit of a look at what that is. If I window into an individual shot, I can see that I have the point number, the description, and the elevation. And there's a little point here, it's called an active point in MicroStation. It represents a 3D zero length line is actually the definition of it, and it is at the correct elevation. A lot of times you'll get this information from an aerial surveying firm. They'll isolate those on a particular level so that you can create a DTM from them by graphics. And that's what we're going to do. We are going to create a DTM in two steps. First of all, we're going to do it by importing this element that happens to be on an isolated level. The level name is data points. Once that's created, we're also going to isolate the graphics out here that represent the break lines and import those within the fence contents. So let's get started. I'm going to select my surface command, my import command into a surface and we're doing it from graphics. And the DTM I'm going to create, I keyed this in previously, is existing by graphics. We're not going to load by a fence but we're going to grab elements that are on a particular level. The level that we want is called data points. So we're going to select that. And things are at the correct elevation, so I do want to instruct the software to use element elevations. Now the seed name that we're going to use is simply spot elevation. The feature style, they are random points that represent the terrain or survey, so T random is the name of the feature style that we're going to assign to it. And for triangulation purposes, we want to define those as random points. When I apply, those will be imported. Once I get the import complete message in my status field, I'm going to close the dialog box out and evaluate my DTM by looking at triangles. And the DTM does need to be retriangulated because it's the first time it's been populated or an edit has been made to it. So if I zoom in, I can see that I do have triangle vertices at those spot elevations. If I tentative or snap to them, I do get the correct elevation that's defined for it. In fact, I get additional decimal places depending on the readout I have versus the annotation that was used when it was posted to the screen. What I'm missing in my DTM are break lines. These Elevations did triangulate to each other, but we are missing the break lines that will constrain that triangulation process to the bottom of the ditch or the top of bank or other break lines that we might have in our DTM. I'm going to turn off some levels here. We've already imported these data points. We no longer need those. And the topo roadway and the ditches level are the two levels that I want turned on to import as break lines. <laughs> 